good day everyone. Uh, I'm delighted to share with you CRC Asia's experience engaging children in the ASEAN. Next slide, please. So CRC Asia, a Child Rights Coalition Asia, in partnership with the ASEAN Commission on the Promotion and Protection of Rights of Women and Children, or ACWC, held the Children and Youth Consultation on a Draft Regional Plan of Action for the Protection of Children from All Forms Online Exploitation and Abuse in ASEAN, or the RPA COEA, now called RPA on COEA in, in ASEAN. Uh, the, the consultation was conducted last uh, February 20 to 21 in February 2021. The consultation aims to gather children and youth insights and comments to, in, to inform the ongoing development of the RPA COEA. Next slide, please. The RPA COEA provides guidance on the implementation of seven commitments in the Declaration on the Protection of Children from All Forms of Online Exploitation and Abuse in the ASEAN. In particular, these seven commitments, uh, uh, commitment number one it speaks about law in promoting development to develop and implement national laws and work together to improve the standards, strategies, and plans. Number two, the, the second promise is about knowledge and skills. Uh, of police, lawyers, judges, and all those working in the law enforcement. Promise number three is to have a specialized unit in each country in charge of leading and supporting and coordinating investigations. Number four is about child protection support services and programs. Five is about the improvements in the collection and monitoring of data. Six is about uh, promoting national education programs and school curriculum. And the last of the seven commitment is to work with the private sector and other relevant partners and actors. Next, with child participation being, uh, uh, with child participation, uh, please uh, go back to the, the, the first, no, no, um, the slide before the, yeah. With child participation being part of the guiding principles of the RPA COEA, the technical working group or the TWG consisting of ACWC and the ASEAN senior officials meeting on social welfare and development decided to conduct an online consultation with children with assistance of CRC Asia. Next slide, please. So during this time, the declaration was already there. It was already approved, but the RPA COEA is still under construction. Next slide, please. How uh, uh, on the selection of delegates, CRC Asia was given around a month to organize the consultation. As a strategy to overcome the limited preparation time, CRC Asia reached out to the child delegates who participated in its previous children's consultation related to the issues of online child protection and rights of child in the digital environment. As such, some of the delegates are more than 18 years old at that time of the RPA COA online consultation. In cases where the child delegates from previous children's consultations were not available, the child delegate or supporting organization were asked to identify alternative representatives to the RPA COA online consultation. This, is the, this was the case on, of the delegates from the Lao PDR. CRS Asia notes that the previous children's consultation underwent a selection process in which a child delegate in which the child delegates were selected by their own peers led peers or child led groups as the rep representatives of the consultations. This selection process could not be done in the RPA COA online consultation. Nonetheless, CRC Asia bank on the delegates' experience and develop expertise through their participation in the previous children's consultation. The invitation to the RPA COA online consultation was also extended to child delegates. Uh, from 10 member states and two ASEAN dialogue partners such as Japan and Hong Kong. Unfortunately, unfortunately Japan and Hong Kong was not able uh, to, to, to join us in this consultation. These delegates attended at least one of the following, the regional uh, consultation on the development of child safety materials in February 2016 in Bangkok, the ASEAN regional children's consultation on online child protection in February, 2018 in, the, in Jakarta, and the 2019 Asian Children's Summits in November 2019 in Bangkok. 
similar to the previous students' consultation conducted by CRC Asia, the ability to speak English is not a prerequisite for participation. Translation support through the adult mentors was provided to children and youth delegates who do not speak and use English, such as in the case of the representative from uh, Vietnam. Uh, next slide, please. These are the photos of the previous activities organized by CRC Asia and attended by the, ch the child and youth delegates of the consultation. Next slide, please. So we did uh, 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 some preparatory activities before the consultation. So CRC Asia prepared uh, two information materials, the documents for the children and youth delegates. These documents contain child friendly information about the consultation and the draft RPA COA, including the unofficial child friendly version of the 2019 declaration and the RPA COA sections 7, 8, and 10. So you will see that uh, in the slide, the first document was, uh, uh, was uh, a must for the ch children and youth delegates to read. And the second do document is optional or additional information. When we are developing the material, uh, uh, when, uh, when we are uh, drafting the documents, so it is a very long document. So we decided which uh, portions of the document must be uh, read by the participants before the consultation and which part of the document can be a supplemental document only so that it will not be too long for the children to read. Next, please. CRC is also developed child protection and for child participation and child protection documents for the activity. This includes uh, consent from the children, uh, the, uh, the commitment of the adults and the consent from the parents and also it it also incorporated the child protection documents is the child safeguarding policy. Adult mentors from supporting CSOs of children and youth were request to process the document. So uh, uh, we, we, we strongly um, ask the adult mentors to uh, help children understand the, the documents and also process the consent forms or the child safeguarding forms. Next, please. So the actual consultation, all 14 child and youth delegates from Cambodia, Indonesia, Lao PDR, Malaysia, Philippines, and Vietnam referred to as experts because they have been involved in at least two of the regional activities conducted by CRC Asia before, so took part in the sessions. The virtual consultation spanned for a total of four hours spaced equally between two days. It's a weekend. It's a Saturday and Sunday. Attorney Wan Chai, Kun Wan Chai, Thailand's representative of Children's Rights to ACWC, served as one of the speakers along with the representatives of CRC Asia. Uh, um, Hazel helped moderate the session. Amihan was also a speaker. Uh, Inda and I, your child, Inda is a child safeguard and today, were, the, were the, also helped facilitate the sessions. And Sheikh, one of our colleagues, also served as a child safe guardian during the, the, the consultation. Adult mentors of each delegates are also there to support the youth and child delegate. And observers are also uh, uh, present during the consultation that from Singapore Children's Society, uh, Protect and Save the Children in Malaysia, and the, tech, and the members of tech, the technical working group. Next slide, please. Specifically, the child and youth delegates were invited to share their insights on two specific sections of the RPA on COA, such as Section 7, the Plan of Action, and Section 8, Implementation of the Declaration and RPA of the RPA and the RPA. In addition, the child and youth delegates were also asked to share the recommendations on the indicators for section, at section 10. The sessions were divided according to RPA COA 7 focused areas to identify one, the positive aspects, the missing aspects, the children and youth's questions and recommendations, 
and the children and youth suggested indicators. So these are just the, the four guide, uh, guide uh, areas for the children. Short health and sensory breaks were also introduced in the, in the consultation with a few icebreakers. Next. So the results. Overall, the children and youth delegates expressed their appreciation for the space given to them to provide inputs to the draft RPA COEA. Their insights and recommendations on the draft revolve around the roles of parents, teachers, social, social workers, law enforcers, and media companies in protecting children and youth from online exploitation and abuse. They put forward recommendations related to the importance of digital literacy, child participation and behavior change, the provision of mental health and psychosocial support, and the link between online and offline violence against children. They also brought up issues that were not directly addressed by the RPA COEA, including the issue of sharing, wherein parents frequently use social media to share photos of their deep and, or other details and information about, the, about their child. And the emergence of online challenges like self-generated content in response to an online challenge that could lead to children's harm. Next, please. So after the consultation, CRC Asia uh, drafted and submitted the draft copy of the RPA that inc incorporates the results of the consultation to the TWG. The documentation report of the consultation on the draft RPA COEA and, and the submitted draft copy of the RPA COEA were also shared to the delegates. But upon sharing of the, these documents, CRC Asia emphasized that we do not intend children and youth delegates to read these long documents. We just wanted them to see the comment section of the document wherein the insights and recommendations are reflected. We also asked the adult mentors to assist the delegates in, in accomplishing post-consultation evaluation questionnaire so that we will uh, see the, the uh, we will know that if children have suggestions for future online activities of CRC Asia with them. In October 2021, 20, CRC shared a funding opportunity since they are working uh, on online child protection. So we also we shared a funding opportunity with the adult mentors. And in February 2022, CRC shared the invitation to the virtual launch event on the RPA on COEA. This event, the, the recording of the event is still available in the in Facebook and it will, it, it will be shared by in the chat box by my colleagues in CRC Asia. After this learning session, we'll be sharing the comparative matrix of children's recommendations and the final RPA on COA so that everyone can see how, uh, how, the, how, how the recommendations of children are incorporated in the, in the RPA. And next, the results. So that's the, the virtual launch. So the regional plan of action Adapted, adapted several recommendations from the children who attended the, the consultation, like one mentioning explicitly the possible role of children in certain action points. Number two, giving stronger, stronger recognition on the offline component of child sexual, sexual exploitation and abuse, the link of the offline, uh, offline environment with the online environment. Next is acknowledging the roles of the private sector and media on raising awareness on online child protection. Next is strengthening the capacities of social service workforce. Next is improving the accessibility of helplines to all children. And lastly, including comprehensive sexuality education in school curriculum. Next slide, please. I think I still have the last slide. So on challenges and lessons learned. So working with a tight timeline. So the strategy of reaching out to the child delegates who participated in previous children's consultations on the related topics really work. Uh, this, uh, uh, in my, in my, in my 
we, we can we can uh, say that the children are not prepared just for uh, a week or a month, but we back in 2016 that started their prepare, preparation. So they are really experts on on this uh, subject matter on the issue. Ensuring that the delegates are ready. So we prepared child friendly information pack that they can read before the consultation so that may, they, have, they, they can prepare better for the consultation. Third is ensuring that delegates are supported and protected. So there are, there are the adult mentors and CEOs, CEOs who are uh, present and have supported them during the preparation and the actual uh, consultation. Of course, the secretary, the, there's the, the CRC secretariat that uh, helped facilitate uh, the, the consultation. So child participation being part of the guiding principles of the declaration and of course of, of the RPA. This made this made this engagement with children and young people through CRC Asia and the ACWC possible. Ensuring that partner CSOs and delegates are updated on the developments. So post-consultation follow-ups and uh, continuous uh, updating with the, the participants and their, their adult mentors are conducted by CRC Asia. Next is horizontal learning. The, 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 the process of this cons the consultation and the development of the RPA is worth sharing. And this is, what, this, this, uh, uh, this is why CRC Asia uh, decided to include this uh, sharing of experiences in, this, in, our, in, our in, the, in our learning session today. So I hope uh, I will be, I, I'm able to share with you uh, uh, some tips and uh, and lessons that we uh, that we are able to generate in the children and youth consultation on RPA on CAA in SAN. Thank you very much. <music>